Hey guys, welcome to Amy's Autopsy Report. My name's Amy. Um, this is going to be my Texas, Texas Frightmare Weekend video. I'm going to start off um, showing you my haul and then I'll show you the footage I took there. Um, I would like to warn any of you, if you uh, get sick from shaky camera, you might want to just let the video play through and not watch it as at the footage part because I was using a camera I, hadn't, I don't use often and um, it's very shaky because it's very crowded and loud and uh, so yeah so the first thing I want to uh, show you guys is uh, I got a few gifts while I was there from uh, friends and subscribers and so the first gift I want to show you is really cool this is from uh, my friend Michael Long uh, Michael has been subscribed to my channel from the beginning and he gave me this original ash drawing he did and I love it I'm gonna get it framed and hang it on the wall here it's kind of rolled because I had it in a poster tube with my posters but look at that that is awesome I love the style of it and it and it's an original and that's very very cool so thank you so much Michael I really appreciate that that's just such a nice thing to do um, next my friend Jector101, who sent me, um, I guess it's been a year or something now, he sent me a box with several pins and also my Cropsy hat, which you sometimes see me wear in videos. Well, this time he got me this evil ash hat at the convention. I saw Jector and we talked for um, a while, you know, here and there. I saw him a few times and he wanted to buy me that hat and I... You know, that was very kind, man. Thank you so much uh, for wanting to do that, but I love this. In fact, I wore it in my um, photo op with Bruce Campbell. <laughs> uh, next up, I got some gifts from my friend Trevor Trash. Um, if you're not uh, familiar with Trevor Trash, um, you should look at his Instagram. I'll link it in the description box below. Um, he gave me some really cool stuff but before I get into the stuff he gave me I want to show you some stuff I got from him um, a while back and it is he made these trading cards a while back cult movie creep stupid cards and he made this wax pack himself now I have already opened this I have uh, this is the one I opened, and then I, I have another one that's sealed. But I want to show you what this, what he, his artwork is awesome. Look at that. First of all, the wax pack itself is awesome. And then he kind of has cards in here in the sort of, in, a, in the vein of Garbage Pail Kids. So you have that one. And I think he is working on um, some another series of these cards, too, if I'm not mistaken. And then here's that one there. And it came with bubblegum. <laughs> so I, I want to show you those, and then I'm going to show you the other stuff he gave me, most of which he also made. Um, and that's just, he's an amazing artist, you guys. You got to check him out. So I always keep, I have the other one just completely sealed like this. Okay, so he gave me this um, Garbage Pail Kid, which is Elvira. <laughs> this is just an, a regular Garbage Pail Kid. And then he gave me... Some of his prints. Now he he paints um, and he all of these prints he gave me are were available I don't know if they're still available in mini canvases and I mean they're little like this big. Um, so here are the prints he did. Now these are prints of his painting. This isn't going to do it justice but I mean, he does some really awesome detail for 
such tiny work. Awesome. And then, I'll put those back in a second. And then he gave me this, this little mini zine, issue one by Trevor Trash. And I'm not going to go through the whole thing, but I want you to see like his drawings in here. And how cool they are. So cool. Oops. <laughs> it's like a little mini comic book zine kind of a thing. Um, and so that's what Trevor gave me. And thank you so much, Trevor. I absolutely love these things. I can't wait to display all of your stuff together. The cards, my trading cards I already have, and then these, these new things you gave me. So that was really awesome. And so next, I think I will move on to the poster. Speaking of Trevor... He did the artwork for this VHS tape, and they had mini posters of it. And the mini poster came with the tape, and I did get the tape, but Trevor did the artwork for the VHS cover, and I thought it was awesome. So I got that poster. Then I went to Wild Eye Releasing, and Todd Sheets was there, and I got um, a Bone Hill Road poster, I also got a Clownado poster. And that was signed by a couple of cast members and Todd Sheets. I got this Clownado sticker. And uh, next up, I met Leif Yonker, the director of a film called Darkness. I reviewed that movie on my channel, like, in the very beginning. So I'll leave a link in the description box below for that review if you're not familiar with that movie. It is being released, um, uh, it's being re-released coming up. And I actually have Leif Yonker in this video talking about it um, a little bit later on in the video. But I want to show you the poster art because... When he talks about it, he's going to refer to these, these posters. Now, this is the poster on the original DVD. That's the, the artwork on the DVD that I have. So that's the original one. And then the newly commissioned artwork is this, which is amazing. So those are the posters I got. Actually, all those posters came with other things I bought, so they were all free. And speaking of Todd Sheets, I also got, he gave this to me for free as well, a Clownado shirt, which is too big for me, but I can sleep in it. <laughs> so Clownado shirt. So, and since we're on the subject of Todd Sheets, I may as well continue on that path and let you know that I got the Clownado VHS, which has this lovely pink cotton candy on the outside. Well, it's like cotton fur or whatever, and there's a button here, and Todd Sheets signed it as well as the two cast members that were there. It's got fur all over it. <laughs> Super excited about that. I picked up a few more of his films while I was there at Wild Eye Releasing. 
Um, this one is an anthology with like a bunch of different directors, Ron Bonk, Donald Farmer, Todd Sheets, Marcus Cook, Tim Ritter, uh, Tony Mas Masiello, and Chris Seaver. It's an anthology. And here is the Loose Cannon VHS that Trevor did that artwork. Back of that. These are Wild Eye, limited edition Wild Eye tapes. And I got these through Horror Boobs. I will leave a link in the description box below for all these people. Horror Boobs, Wild Eye Releasing, Trevor Trash's Instagram. Um, and then here I got this one, which is, this is from the creators of High 8. This one is... HD high death <laughs> and it's got like the same people involved Anthony Cantonese Tim Ritter Amanda Payton Brad Sykes and Todd Sheets a few people that, that were involved but look at the artwork very cool and more from Todd Sheets I got Bone Hill Road on DVD which I did not have um, I have the VHS from the Kickstarter And also Sleepless Nights. And this one is um, got Todd Sheets, directed by Todd Sheets and Brad Twig. And a whole host of others. Amanda Payton, Andrew Ralston, Mike Gordon. It's, an, it's another anthology. Some other things I picked up were some more movies. Um, let's talk about Death Kiss. <laughs> Death Kiss with um, Robert Kovacs, who looks is like a Charles Bronson look-alike. And this movie is awesome. I actually met him last year at Texas Frightmare, and he was super cool. He's got some other movies coming out, one of which is called uh, Escape from Death Block 13. It's like a prison movie, and it looks like it's going to be really good. I got the making of the Death Kiss movie. And I want to show you something. My friend Caleb showed this to me, I don't know, a few months back when this came out. Um, it talks about, you know, make the making of the film, but look at this. There's me, guys. I met him last year at Frightmare, and this is the photo we took, and they used it in this book. <laughs> so I bought it. I told the guys there that um, I was in the book, and I showed them, and they took my picture, and they were going to send it to Robert Kovacs. <laughs> so that was pretty awesome. Some other films I got... Predator World. Wild Eye had some great deals there. They actually gave me this one for free. I have a film uh, directed by Debbie Roshan, Model Hunger. Lynn Lowry and Tiffany Sheppis are in it. Can't go wrong with Tiffany Sheppis. Uh, a movie called Wolf House, Ancient, Unknown, Unstoppable. This one was also given to me for free. Oh, it's a Sasquatch movie. Well, there's a Sasquatch in it, I guess. Sweet. And then last but not least for the DVDs, I got this one here. Cold Ground, which I also reviewed. I will leave links in the description box for this one, too, if you didn't see that. This is good. This is a good found footage movie. Um, I signed up for something at the the uh, at the full moon table, and it was something about watching behind the scenes stuff. It was free to sign up. It didn't cost anything. And um, let's see. and they gave me this just for signing up. Now I already have this, so I may put this in a giveaway, or I may just take it out of the package and. Let one of them be free. Sorry if you can hear my dog barking. He's barking at everything downstairs. I picked up this comic book called Shark Squatch. And the writer of the book, writer of the comic, signed it here. I thought this was cool. Um, I liked the art inside. Haven't had a chance to read it yet, but I definitely will. He was telling me that he's a fan of sharks and Sasquatch. And I was like... What do you know? So am I. Um, and while I was at the Leaf Yonker table, 
I'll show you my signed photos here in a minute too. Um, the guy that was with him there at the convention, he had a friend there who was helping him kind of set up and stuff. This guy's name, I don't even know what his name is, his real name is, but he goes by Gunther Deadman, and that is um, his Gunther Deadman's uh, basement sublet of horror magazine. He is a horror host based in Wichita, Kansas, and he gave me this book. Um, it's going to be like a, I don't know if it's going to be a monthly magazine or, or what, but it's, it's got all this, this cool information here on the, um, sublet of horror, basement sublet of horror. He had like, um, a show at some, at one point and it's just got like information about him and what he's doing and. And this is just, this was just a promotional copy. So he gave this to me and I told him I would, you know, show it here on my channel. He doesn't, doesn't look like he has any, um, there's an episode guide in here, but it doesn't look like there's any, um, like contact information. So I'll have to look more into this. And if there's, there's more information, I will, I'll look him up online and see if I can find out like if he's got a website or anything like that. He was really, really cool and interesting. And, um, this, this, this little magazine's pretty cool. So I wanted to show you guys that he gave that to me. And then I stopped at Lyle Blackburn's table, who is a, um, cryptozoologist, I guess, and writer, and he's written books, and he also did the re uh, movie documentary called Return to Boggy Creek, not Return to Boggy Creek, I think that's what it's called, but he has a bunch of others out, like Beast of Bray Road, and some other things that he's narrated, but he's also written several books on different cryptids in different states and things, so I picked up a couple patches, this one here, Bigfoot Army, and this one. Bigfoot Patrol, and I loved, I love these. <laughs> I gotta find something to put them on now. Um, and then, last but not least, I wanted. Oh no, I f almost forgot this. I went to DWN Productions, and I had actually bought this before I went to the con. But um, the little doll from Tales from the Hood, um, I got one of them, a little replica of him. And I picked him up at Texas Frightmare, and he's really cool. He's got um, shoes and, and clothes, uh, actual cloth clothes here, and the sculpt on his face is really well done. And this guy um, did, like, a lot of masks and stuff like that. But you might be able to see my uh, killer tomato right there. He also did that. So I'll link his website down there below also. Um, and I think he's still, like taking orders for this. I'm not positive. But I wanted to briefly show you the Texas Frightmare Weekend program. It's a pretty big program. If you are in the market for going to Texas Frightmare Weekend, I want to show you. Um, it's usually sponsored by Arrow Video and Alamo Draft House, but they have photo ops, um, autographs obviously they've got vendor tables from all the major like picture picture uh, movie companies um, here is what the map of the con floor looks like you can kind of get a look at that or one of the rooms anyway um, but I also want to show you the page where that has got all the guests okay this is the guest roster so, if you want to pause that so you can see who was there, a lot of good people. And then this side, right here. And here's the back of it. I won't go through the whole paper because it's mostly just like events and movies playing and stuff like that. Um, you know, there were some some exclusive things released for Texas Frightmare as far as movies and all that kind of stuff goes. 
Um, but that is going to do it for my haul portion of this video. Now I'm going to, going to go ahead and get right into the con floor. I toured both rooms of the con, the lobby. I gave you a, a hotel room tour and um, also had a few words in there with Leif Yonker talking about uh, his film Darkness and what's about to happen with that. And I, I, I'm hoping you guys are really liking this video because this is definitely probably going to be one of my longest videos I've ever made. So again, if you don't like shaky cam or if you have a problem with that, just let the video play all the way through and leave the room because it is pretty shaky. I did try to stabilize it as much as I could, but um, it was the best I could do under those circumstances with that many people that were there. So that's going to do it for this portion of the video, guys. Stick around for the walkthrough of Texas Frightmare Weekend 2019, and um, I will catch you uh, after that footage and... Uh, yeah, so check it out. Hey guys, just giving you a mini room tour of my hotel room. Uh, Ray left already. This is Sunday. Um, here's my bed. It's Ray's bed. And here's the rest of the room. Pretty cool. We have a nice view out here of the like airport. Planes taking off there. And I'm heading down to the con floor. Um, I took some footage uh, the other day, but it was so crowded. I just kept people just kept running into me. So I'm gonna try today to get some more footage for you guys. I want to show you what um, I got to see, and I also will show you. Um, I'm not sure I'll do it in the same video, but I want to show you all the stuff I got to. Okay, so here we go. Okay, let's head down to the con floor. A lot of my friends have already left, so. I'm gonna try to do this, and not get run over, guys. And not fall down the stairs. As you can see, it's not nearly as busy as it was the other day. This person's costume in front of me. where you get your tickets. And we have different rooms for screenings, panels over here. You see, it's so got a lot of people here. It's actually busier than I thought it would be today, so hopefully I can make this video. Yeah. We've got everything we need. Now we just got to get our tickets. Okay, this is one room here where there's celebrities and vendor tables and... <laughs> That's our speculation anyway, right? So it's like, I assume it. There we go. Yeah. Loaf's table here. He had an accident yesterday, Jenna Jameson. And here we have celebrities and stuff now. some of the stuff they have. A lot less crowded today. Folks from Circus of the Dead, awesome movie.
lot of these people are in the Halloween panel right now. DJ Souls. Felissa Rex is now in the which I wanted to get a signed thing from her, but I don't know if I'm going to wait in that line. some footage. Thank you so I kept much. getting like run over the other day while I was trying to do it. Oh, on Saturday probably. Yeah. Okay, we have Leif Jonker here, director of the indie classic Darkness with a special announcement here at Texas Frightmare Weekend. We're very excited to announce over the years I've had many people who liked and supported Darkness request a Blu-ray and I have turned down for real 
10 offers from some tiny companies up to big companies. Finally, we got the right offer. And in October 2019, we're going to release a 2.5K scan restoration off the original camera element of Leave Younger's Darkness in the final cut that will be coming to you from Arrow Video. On top of that, we are very fortunate to get an artwork, a brand new, beautiful artwork I wish I had to show you, you can cut to it. Yeah. Uh, from Christopher Shy. He likes the movie, he's a big hot artist now. Look him up, Google him. Christopher Shy. Google Christopher Shy and Godzilla because he actually just worked on the new Godzilla for a year and a half designing monsters. He's actually a much bigger deal than me. And he liked darkness a lot. So he gave us an absolutely beautiful artwork for him. That will be on top. And then for those who want the original art, you can flip the, the sleeve and see the original ribcage kid pulling his guts open, just like the original VHSs. So we're very happy. And everybody who has waited for a Blu-ray, I guarantee you, this is going to be worth the wait. All right. Thank you, sir. It was great meeting you here at Absolutely. Texas Sprite Mirror Weekend. And thanks for participating in my video. Oh, thanks for having me. All right. Thanks. Uh, we, we, uh, By the way, I must usurp that. that uh, that's a shitty format, sir. <laughs> Just because you stand in line for an hour doesn't mean you have a worthwhile question. Well, I prefer, sir, to have hands raised in the air and we choose indiscriminately from people randomly. It, it does Do you <laughs> ever have a format, yes or no? Yeah! <laughs> Line up with your shitty question. <laughs> More equitable, perhaps. Line up and alternate. Shitty question, random question. <laughs> We're going to have to start here because somebody literally paid for that first question. <laughs> <laughs> Who paid? For what? Who paid? 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 Okay, I hope you enjoyed that footage, guys. I'm going to show you real quick the signed photos I got, and um, then that'll be the end of the video, pretty much. But I met, in addition to meeting Todd Sheets and Leif Yonker, I also met Jonathan Breck, from, who is the Creeper from Jeepers Creepers. I met Bruce Campbell finally. Oh my gosh, you guys, he is awesome. I loved every minute of it. He's so cool, so nice, um, and super funny too. So there's my photo op I got with him. <laughs> and when, when we were there, we, we uh, took the photo because it happens really quickly. I'd never done a photo op before, but it happens really quickly. You go in there and he goes, okay, dear, come here. <laughs> and we get there and he's like, okay, let's do this. And then he goes like this. And so then I did the same, kind of the same thing. And when we were done, he went, wow, bam, we got it. We got it. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> and then here is my autograph, uh, Bruce Campbell photo. I was going to get my mask autographed, but, um, the way it had to happen because of his popularity, we had to buy tickets and our tickets, uh, we were based on the number of autographs we were getting from him so you paid for your ticket and then you get it got in his line for the autograph so um, it basically eliminated the fact of him having to handle any money his line moved a lot quicker and then um, the photo op there were no table photos so the photo op was separate and it made his line go a lot quicker now the line for the tickets though I waited in that line for a good couple of hours so that's going to do it for this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed this longer uh, video, and let me know what you thought of it in the comments below. And uh, that's it. Texas Frightmare Weekend 2019 in the books. Um, 
Give me a like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Follow me on Instagram at Amy's Autopsy Report, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Oh, yeah. Groovy, baby.